WhamCam, sponsored by your local Honda dealers. It's time to go Wham! Hi folks, happy Thanksgiving, hanging out with Dana. Hi. She's the big owner's daughter. Woo! Here at Quinn's in Peckville. Cranberries tomorrow you're gonna have on Thanksgiving? Cranberries, All cranberry right. relish. Why do you always see them being grown in water in the commercials and everything? What's the deal with that? It's time to go Wham! I have no idea. <laughs> So it's always like a guy standing in a flood. Right. Yeah. right. Yes. What do, do they need? Is that like a water plant? Well, maybe they help. They they walk over them and uh, kind of squish them a little bit. Do these things grow like in rivers, lakes? They're more of just like marshes, like swamp type looking. They are. I couldn't tell you. Maybe little fish are biting at it. I'm not sure about that. Love cranberry sauce. Can take her or leave it. Are you gonna hit the sauce on Thanksgiving? I might have to now. <laughs> they grow like on a tall tree, a little bush. Are they underwater? Go ask my manager, I don't know. Yeah. Some kind of bog up in New England. A bog up in New England. <laughs> Is it a flood product? I don't think so. <laughs> flood product? Nah, I don't think so. Wait, you can't stop the donuts for a minute for me? You just like, uh, a, no, that's not <laughs> But what they do before harvesting is they'll flood a bog-like field and then all of the berries of cranberries float to the surface and they're easily harvested by this device called an egg beater which just scoops them all up. So the water really isn't needed for them to grow, but harvesting and it helps to uh, prevent freeze too when it gets cold. That my friend is a wham! What about if you just open the can and let the whole thing as a, as a frozen, partially melted mash? Is that a dare? I like cranberry sauce. I'm not a big fan, but I'm sure oh. Joe probably never has tasted that in his whole life. Probably Guaranteed. not. Guaranteed. No. Almost time for the Christmas show.